How guys doing? Welcome back to SB252. What a big time win for the New Orleans Saints we just witnessed. 31 to 26. Good win for them. This is only the third triple sweep in NFL history and the first one this year. They were able to dominate the Carolina Panthers this season in ways I haven't seen them done in years past. Give this defense a lot of credit. They went out there today. Cam Newton was 24 for 40 in his passing. But the Panthers were down 31 to 19, were able to make the comeback. But in the end of the day, Cam Newton couldn't do it. Had that intentional grounding at the end of the game. Saints defense buckled up and stopped him from getting in the end zone. But this whole game, coming into the game, I knew the Panthers could not contend with the Saints. They did make things interesting at the end. But the Saints, Drew Brees, we know how great he's been in his career and racked up a lot of stats and broken a lot of records. Well, so far this season, it's been rookie running back Kamara and Ingram that have led the charge on the ground. But today, Kamara only had 23 yards rushing. Ingram, 22. Drew Brees, 376 yards in the air. That first touchdown pass that he got to Ginn, 80 yards at the end of the first quarter. Most of the first quarter was a defensive battle, but he was able to get that pass, and that really set him up for the rest of the game. So Drew Brees, the two touchdowns, did have the one pick on the afternoon, still was very efficient, was more than just a game manager today like he's been most of the year. He was back. Now he'll be traveling to Minnesota next week to play an indoor football game. We all know Drew Brees, Northern Stadium in the cold is not his specialty. He won't have to worry about that. So he's going to have a good chance to contend and go back to the NFC title game as well as the Saints. Like I said, Drew Brees played a good game. The defense did good against Cam Newton. Cam Newton had to leave the game, went into con uh, concussion protocol, came back into the game, really led the charge back. But Christian McCaffrey, the rookie running back, give him a lot of credit. When they were down 31-19, to after that Kamara two-yard touchdown, we knew it was over. But just a minute later, McCaffrey broke three, broke free from that Saints defense and ran 56 yards all the way to the house and was able to score. What a play for him. But like I said, the Panthers swept this season. have got to really find a way to beat the Saints. they got to go in the draft room. they got to go back to the drawing board because they can't beat the Saints. But New Orleans, they have a great chance to go to the Super Bowl with Drew Brees playing the way he's playing. That defense really locking down. It'll be interesting to see going into Minnesota. I believe that they're the favorites. I think that they'll be able to go into Minnesota and get the big-time win. Now, that's not to discredit the Vikings. They have played exceptional football this year, and they played some good defense, but we will definitely see. Should be a good matchup. For all you Saints fans, congratulations. You guys got a huge divisional win and a great pullout victory at the end. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you guys later.